Welcome into the State Champs Network studio for our Swing Away Softball Show. I'm Elizabeth Kuhn filling in for Sydney Carriel this week. This show is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Don't forget LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, including women's softball. Not only that, athletic and academic scholarships are available. What's unique about it all is that you can recruit yourself. Visit LTUathletics.com. Coming up, we'll have another update and our total softball player of the year. But first, let's recap the games we covered on the network over the last week. Let's begin in the mid-Michigan area as the 2019 Division III state champs Millington went on the road to take on Frankenmuth, who came in ranked sixth in Division II. Ashley Zeal was on the hill for Millington. The North would commit through eight strikeouts and allowed two hits in her seven innings of work. Frankenmuth countered with junior Brooklyn Compow, who committed to Central Michigan. She had 12 strikeouts. The game featured only two runs and it came from Millington. Zeal doing her cause on the plate as she hit a solo homer. Her teammate Leah Coleman got in as well with another home run to center as Millington goes on to beat Frankenmuth 2-0 the final. We go to the west side of the state as Ravenna traveled to take on Muskegon Oak Ridge. We go to the top of the fourth. Maddie Kilborn up on the plate for Ravenna as she smacks a double that would score a pair. That put the Bulldogs up 5-0. Yeah, yeah. But Muskegon Oak Ridge would mount a comeback in the fifth as Jasmine Pastor takes this offering deep and over the wall for a two-run homer. Oak Ridge down 5-2. Same inning with the bases juiced and junior Andrea Romero with a no-doubter. Grand slam to left center to put the Eagles up 6-5. We're still in the fifth. Oak Ridge adding up to their lead. Madison Clark with a three-run shot to right. That fan couldn't catch that ball. Muskegon Oak Ridge would go on to beat Ravenna 11-6 to the final. Every week, all year long, state champs and the DMC's physical therapy and sports medicine team brings you training tips, injury prevention techniques, and more. This week's Game Changer is all about training the rotational zones of the body. So if you're a softball, baseball, volleyball, or how about a thrower in track and field, the next few minutes are just for you. Hi, I'm Laura Ramos with DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. And today on Game Changers, we're gonna show you the three rotational zones of the human body and how to train them. Studies have shown that doing rotational exercises improve core stability, muscle development, and overall body coordination. And this is super important in sport because sport is really rotational. Most of our training, however, that we do is single plane, sagittal, just moving backward and forward. I'm here with Sam from Birmingham Seahome High School, and we're gonna demonstrate the high to low chop. This is a great rotational exercise. Start out with your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure your knees and hips are straight and your shoulders are locked to your back. Grab onto your resistance pulley and keep your elbows straight. Now, chop down rotating through your ankles. It looks just like that. And he's gonna repeat about 10 repetitions. After that, he'll rest and do a second and third set. Now, some of the common errors that we see is first of all, the knee collapses in when he powers through, just like this. Make sure your knee stays straight. Another error is for your shoulder to come forward, and it looks like this. Make sure you keep that shoulder blade back. The last error we see are the elbows bending. So as he chops, he bends his elbow. Make sure you finish and work right through this chop using your ankles like Sam. Reverse sides on the cable to work the opposite chop. So start in this position and chop down. Perfect, rotating through those ankles. Now, another common error that we see is as he chops down, he extends through his back. Good, come back through, make sure you're equal on both legs, keeping those shoulder blades solid and that core solid and chop down. For more sports performance tips, or to make an appointment with a DMC physical therapist or orthopedic specialist, visit dmc.org slash game changers. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Then go where the pros go. DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. For immediate care, call 313-910-9328 or visit dmc.org slash game changers.
time now for another edition of the State Champs Total Softball Player of the Year update, joined today by Donnie Dreyer from Total Softball. Elizabeth, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so excited. Finally, some warm weather in the state of Michigan this week. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. 70s, 80s. Uh, can't wait to get out there. No changes to our top 10 this week. And remember, you can cast your votes in the State Champs Total Softball Player of the Year contest by going to statechampsw.com. Donnie, we're going to be talking today about Haley Bila from Lanesburg, who is going to play her college ball next year at Michigan State. Yeah, Haley Bila is an awesome athlete, just uh, fantastic. She's a uh, left, she hits left, she throws left. Um, very, very polished athlete. So there's so many things that I like about Haley. First, we'll start defensively. She's got great footwork in the outfield. She does something that I call taking her feet from north to south. So they start them east to west, then she goes north to south with her feet. It allows her to make quick jumps on the ball. Um, flows to the ball beautifully, great arm motion, everything she does in the outfield I absolutely love. Offensively, she's a multiple weapon and uh, Haley is a three sport athlete, so she's a great athlete with a ton of speed, but not only can she slap and bunt from the left hand side, she hits with power. And uh, that really helps to keep the defense honest. A lot of times in, in these days we'll have a slapper defense, move everybody to the left side, pitch the ball outside and let the kid hit in the defense. Uh, the spray charts on Haley are very impressive. She uses it from line to line. She looks at what the defense has given her, and then she'll take the spots that are, that are open. So, um, yes, yeah, she is going to be going to Michigan State next year. And I want to say a, a shout-out to Michigan State. As I'm looking at their 2022 recruits, four kids from the state of Michigan. They've, she's got uh, from Anchor Bay, Kayla Bain, Britton Bashir is from Wild Lake Central, Mandy Essman, Gold Lake and Haley Biela. So four, congratulations Michigan State, uh, recruiting Michigan kids. Uh, University of Michigan's been doing this for decades and they've had a lot of success. And while we're talking about Michigan kids, I gotta mention Central Michigan University, who is the queen of recruiting our Michigan kids. They've got 19 kids on their roster right now. They finished third in the MAC and they're gonna be in the MAC tournament, one of four teams in the tournament playing on Thursday. So good luck to CMU and we want all our colleges to be recruiting our Michigan kids. That's right. Remember, you can cast your votes for Haley and the rest of the top 10 by going to statechampsw.com. Kelsey Nader from Canton is leading the online vote. She has 13,000 votes. That means she can't be removed from the top 10. Also tune into the State Champs Diamond Gems podcast. I'll be filling in for Sydney Carriel as well this week. Donnie and Brian Chister will be joined by a past champion of the State Champs Total Softball Player of the Year. Elizabeth, we have uh, Abby Krizwicki. Everyone knows her by Abby K from Mercy. She won the 2016 Player of the Year. Had a great career at South Alabama. She is going to be talking on the recruiting process from the prospective student athletes perspective all the way from when she started the recruiting process all the way through college. So it's great information. Encourage everybody to jump in and, and listen to Abby Kay. It's great information. Yeah, some good stuff. You can catch the podcast on our preferred platform called Spreaker. Just go to Spreaker.com and search State Champs Network. That's it for another edition of the State Champs Total Softball Player of the Year update. Thank you so much for tuning into State Champs Swing Away, where it is our mission to highlight the female athlete. Whatever social media platform is your favorite, you can be sure to find State Champs women on all of them. Be sure to check out our website at statechampsw.com. Well, that's all the time we have. Have a great rest of your week. State Champs Swing Away is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. State Champs Swing Away is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Pros. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. Stay tuned for the announcement of this year's 12 nominees coming soon. Who will be this year's Male and Female Athletes of the Year? Find out live Monday, June 6th, only on the State Champs Michigan Network. U.S. Navy Recruiting Michigan. Call 313-315-2560 and talk to a local officer to find out how the Navy can take you anywhere from the sea to the stars. 
Oakland School's technical campuses are designed for any student who wants to graduate high school with industry certifications, on-the-job experiences, business connections, and college credits. Check them out at ostconline.com.